Morning. I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Library of Ruiner. So, we are now an impurity on civilization. I mean, I thought we already were, but we especially are now an impuritus civitatus. Uh, and I don't know what this is going to entail. I have to assume it's reverberation related. How could it not be by this point? Who else is gunning for us by now? Sure, they could just introduce someone to be gunning for us, but... I don't know, I just don't see who else it could be, but before we do that, because I love to be awkward and plus I need to build decks and know what I'm working with, we spin the wheel to decide who's fighting today, or at least for this reception. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the wheel. So, we've had general works and we've had religion and uh, philosophy made an appearance recently. I'd quite like to get history in there because it's been a while and I have a new skin to show off, but honestly any of these flaws other than like languages, general works, religion or philosophy would be nice. So we're looking at roughly a 50-50 chance of it being something we haven't seen recently. Only way to know is to spin. I swear to God, if it's general works again, I'm going to be infuriated. Give me something good. You know what? I can go with that. Natural sciences. All right. Yeah, that's fine. It's not quite what I, you know, specified, but we have people on that floor who need time in the sun. I don't see why not. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make them some decks, so I'll be right back. I've got plenty of new things to play with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have assembled some decks. Some come up with by me. I think one come up with by the Discord and one inspired by the Discord. Indeed, this first one is technically inspired by the Discord because I actually came up with this one on my own. And then I checked in Discord and discovered someone had posted something very similar. Not the same, theirs is probably better, but it was heartening to know that I at least posted something, I at least made something, I should say, that was reasonably competent. Reasonably. I don't know. We'll see. But this is Yan's page, and for the passive attributions, there's the obvious ones that are already there. I also chose offensive position, locked potential, breaking pressure, and health all I think easygoing breather would be very good for this, to be honest. But I'm using it somewhere else, basically. There's a reason why I don't have it. It will probably turn out the easygoing breather should be on Yan's page and would be better there, but for now, this is what I've done. But that's Tiff. So World has not got Slash and Burn anymore. They've got Zhao's page, and this one was submitted by the Discord straight up. I've stolen this wholesale, 100%, because they were like, yo, if you want to play Zhao and have it be good and fun, not necessarily just optimal, but also cool, this is the one you want to go for. And I was like, this sounds good to me. And it seems like something I would build. It's Singleton with Frontal Assault, Unlock 1, Multi Slash, BG, BG, Fiery Dragon Slash, Will the Prescript, Fervent, Fervid Emotions, Jeanneer, and Raging Storm Love. And the passive attributions are Flaring Brand, Health Hauler, Locked Potential, and Easygoing Breather. Thinking we might get a lot of burning done, potentially. Rene, because they're submittant, their submitter, as it were, requested that they have the Purple Tears appearance, I also gave them the Purple Tears page, and I've gone fully into Slash on this one to the point where, and I know this will make a lot of you roll your eyes and or sigh in exasperation, but these are all actually the same, because I have literally put all of the passive attributions into boosting Slash, so we're only ever going to be using Slash stance. I know, I'm being lazy with it, I'm not exploiting it to its full potential, this is all I wanted to do for now. We've got two Draw of the Swords, an Unlock One, two Serpent Sword Techniques, two Snake Slits, a Violet Blade, and a Blind Faith. I'm thinking Blind Faith would be very good for contesting any mass attacks we might come up against, especially if they're summations. And thanks to the passive attributions, that loose loss of two power won't even matter that much. We have Singular Strike, Swordplay of the Homeland, and Minimum Offense. That's all we need. It's all we need. But this does mean the Drawer of the Sword will punch above its weight, far above its weight, and Violet Blade will be devastating. Because Violet Blade is going to receive a lot of power, and then it's going to be times by two. So that's quite good. Faye has Maze Page. I love this page. I'm very proud of it. I'm going to keep it. I bet it's going to fade off real soon and not be nearly as good as it is now or was before, I should say. But I actually don't care. I just like the page that much. I like this deck. She has Hugging Fire, Sing on Brushwood, Guardian, Light of Daybreak, Stigma, Workshop, Weaponry, Offensive Position, and Mind Hauler. And finally, Gerardo Pippi has Nikolai's page. We know the drill on this one. Without further ado, because I can't fucking wait to get my ass handed to me. Right. Let's get in there. Let's see what's happening. I want to know what's happening. I want to know what we're fighting. This might be the entire video, depending on how difficult it is. There's two acts. So, that's a thing. 
We might have one floor, we might have two floors, we might have five floors. Who the fuck knows? Anna. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Quite. I guess it's not the reverberation yet. Okay. Alright. Okay. I suppose it's about time we clashed with the Hana Association. That's right, they did say that to Liu, didn't they? We're beyond the star of the city, my friend. Funny you should say that. You have to be very complicated, Olivier. We've heard that name referenced, but I can't remember where. <sighs> this guy is... Oh. Oh. Oh, he's, he's Roland's old friend. The one he went to go help out. The day his wife died. Oh, we should really use general works, shouldn't we? I'm not gonna. Uh, the wheel has made its decision, but we really should use general works. Probably not. Probably not because of that, anyway. You motherfucker! This guy is awesome! I love him already. White suit versus Roland's black suit. Yeah, you see the parallels? Yeah. I see. I was wondering if you got the phrase from you, but you're just quoting him. Fair enough. Including going in the library itself. It is all very confusing. You know, this, it, the library wouldn't consume the city if you guys just, I don't know, didn't go in, just left it alone. It can't really do anything by itself. But of course, the invitation is supposed to work in some way where people will end up in the library regardless. But from an outsider's perspective, just don't go to the library and it's completely powerless. It can do nothing. Librarians can't even leave, although they don't know that, obviously. I bet. That would probably be wise. Good point. Would it be the index? Because we kind of trashed them as well. So they're acting more openly now. I'm honestly surprised the head hasn't stepped in against the reverberation because by this point he's clearly causing problems and serious problems at that. At least on the level of a star of the city, I'd say he's actually way more powerful. Yes, he has. Ah oh, yes, section 3. You'll be able to do one of those if that. Yeah, 
Yes, everyone attack the blue reverberation. Get rid of them. Interesting. Furthermore. Ah. So section one has been completely destroyed by the blue reverberation. And they even had a color fixer with them. The Vermilion Cross, which is a fantastic name, by the way. It's one of those things where you, you'll never be able to come up with as good um, a color fixer name yourself as the game does. The game has all the best ones. Like, I think some of us in the Discord were discussing it at one point, and nothing sounded right. It just don't. It just doesn't. It's like Metal Gear Solid boss names, right? You can never come up with as good a one as the ones the game comes up with. They just seem to sort of get it while we don't. <laughs> Including the cross? And joined the blue reverberation. Yes, the eighth one has joined to the blue reverberation. Uh-huh. Makes sense. I mean, it pretty much has. Pretty sure. Which means it can become worse than those events in the past, and probably will be. I imagine so. Things have escalated. Sink. Very good, very good, yes, considering the number theme. I'm interested to see how the Blood Red Knight fights. I bet that's terrifying. Yeah, it was really funny, actually. That's what I'm saying. Possible. I mean, it seems like you've got more important things to do. Well, there you go. Let me just remember that. I guess they don't know that we're not working with them, really, don't, do they? Bearing in mind that Pluto can teleport, but sure, do your best. I mean, yeah, basically. That sounds pretty good. Alright, 
이야기 좀할수 있을까? Is this about Roland? 도시에서 가장 자유로운 존재가 된다니 실감이 나지 않네. The irony is thick. 그래, 굉장히 가까워진 것 같아. 맞아, 거의 다 왔어. 그래서 더 실감이 나지 않는 거야. 하나 옆에가 이곳으로 찾아올 정도로 많은 일이 있었구나. It's a big deal. 그곳은 해결사 협회 중에 제일 큰 곳이라고 했지? 맞아. 저번에 말했듯 하나 협회는 사무소 허가도 하고 해결사의 등급도 정해주는 곳이야. 실시간으로 사건에 대한 위험 등급 조정을 하고 모두에게 알리는 일도 하지. And my friend works there. 그리고 도시의 별은 하나 협회가 직접 처리하러 찾아가기도 해. 지금 이렇게 말이야. 오래 볼 사이라는 건 도시의 별 위치에 있는 이상 계속해서 찾아올 거란 말이겠지. Yeah, makes sense. 이상하네. 뭐가? 별거 아니야. 큰 손님이 왔으니까 준비나 제대로 해줘. Yeah, they are important. 환영합니다, 손님. I'm surprised Roland has nothing to say about this. 그거 알아? 이제 엘사 둥지한 어느 곳에서도 도서관이 보여. 무슨 말씀이죠? 도서관을 지켜주는 안개가 거의 거쳤어. Okay. 곧 도서관을 통째로 무너뜨릴 수 있다는 뜻이지. I don't think that's going to work. 그러니 여러 대책을 세우는 게 좋을 거야. Yeah. 자, 악수. 난 하나 협회 남부지부 상과 부장 미리네야. 손님과 악수하는 건 처음이네요. 도시의 별이라면 앞으로 하나 협회와 자주 볼 사이가 되겠지. Oh yeah. 너무 싱겁게 우리에게 지는 별이 되지 말아줘. It's like you've come in here expecting to die. 다들 악수부터 해. 하나 협회 남부 삼과 해결사 해롤드입니다. 하나 협회 남부 삼과 해결사 올리비에다. 저도 부디 오랫동안 볼수 있기를 바랍니다. <웃음> 올리비에 도서관의 주인과 얼굴 도장도 찍었으니 이제 넌 돌아가도록 해. 어? 이거 사람들이 불렀잖아. 어? 그러지. 무슨 꿍꿍이죠? 올리비에는 당신과 악수 한번 시키려고 데려온 거니까 너무 예민하게 굴 필요 없어. No one's ever just turned around and fucked off before. 이만 먼저 들어가겠다. And he just left. He's gone. Okay, I guess we're not killing him today. That's good. That means I can use the um, floor of natural sciences with no guilt. Happy. 설마 우리가 가벼운 마음으로 이곳에 왔다고 생각해? 걱정하지 마. 우리도 너희를 우습게 보고 대책 없이 찾아온 건 아니니까. 도시의 별인 만큼 그리고 하나 협회의 해결사인 만큼. 그에 맞는 예의를 차리고 대우를 해야겠지. Respectable. 각오해. 오늘 도시의 별 하나가 질 테니까. I like that confidence, ma'am. 예. 그럼 당신의 책을 찾으실 수 있기를. Angela wasn't quite as confident as she normally is. Hana fixes. Okay, let's see what you. Four trigrams. When did Neji get in here? Sixty-four palms. Shit's nuts. So we get one floor. Okay, so I don't need to build any more. Gain four special combat pages that benefit the user for the scene they use. Only one of the four trigrams pages can be played per scene, and once a four trigrams page is used, it cannot be reused until all four have been utilized. Interesting. Forward march. Seems alright, I guess. Brace up. Discard a page, draw two pages. Oh, so now we're getting into the realm of discard pages that provide benefit. Like, you know, they already do. But maybe some real benefits, like brace up going alongside a card that allows you to draw means you draw three. Like, potentially this could become quite powerful. Gain one haste next scene. If speed is seven or higher, all dice on this page gain plus one power. Godspeed, what a great name. Give one protection to all allies next scene. Very good. And recover stagger resist. Also very good. Celestial spear. Draw page. Deal five damage to target and it's high number. Unyielding strike. Restore light. Divinatory impacts. <laughs> what the fuck? Five die and none of them are counters. Oh boy. That's a card we're going to want to make use of at some point, because that's basically a mass, uh, summation mass attack canceller, right? Like, nothing's going to fucking beat that. 
Oh, wow. Okay. We might be making use of um, of a Violet Blade sooner rather than later. Maybe just for that counter die. Although, God knows if it'll even be good enough. We may not win this. They may just be too strong. This is the first round and I'm not confident. But, no one ever said I had to first time every single reception I came across. Anyways, I expect us to see each other for often from now on. So nice to meet you. I'm seeing familiar uniforms. It's just as the reports described. It doesn't quite feel like a library, though. If the tide is on our side, push forward. Alright, lads. Let's see what we can do. So what stance are you in right now? Slashing stance? Perfect. That's what I wanted from you. Gerardo, you should start by countering things because... Yeah. Concentration, we need to get your energy up as soon as possible. Breeze. You ain't got much else to work with. You can at least counter brace up. Like, you probably won't win that clash, but you would do damage on the second hit, so it's fine. Unyielding strike. Going for it, I see. And so world has drawn all of <laughs> three gathering pages and a mass attack that you can't use yet. Fucking brilliant. Okay, cool. Good. All right, yeah. Go for that, and then you're being hit by multiple things. Godspeed. Serpent Sword Technique. All of your passives together should make that fine. Quote unquote, should. Godspeed. What else is coming for you? That. This is a tricky, tricky situation. Is there anyone who's not throwing out? Yeah, let's try and take one of you down. You're using Godspeed. Violent Flame should deal with that. If you're hitting them, then hit them again and just apply as much burn as you can. Yeah, we'll hit them with a lot of burn this turn. Uh, so World is just in trouble. Don't know how else to put it, but they are. It's not going to go well for them this turn, so they may as well just do their best. That counter won't come into things on that clash, so... You're gonna lose this anyway. You're gonna lose this clash. There's no way, two ways about it. So you may as well use multi slash, get the extra hit in, and you can't even. Oh wait, there's a better way to do that. Okay, yeah. Multi slash that, and then what? Unyielding strike. You're just not gonna beat it though, Soiled, are you? You don't really have any power bonuses right now. You don't have singular strike, so unlock's not gonna do much. But you need those clashes, so. This is the best we got for now. It's not gonna. This is not a good turn, and it's not gonna go well. But we're building ourselves up. Oh yeah, you can use the. Oh right, this is how you change stances. Okay. Interesting. All right. All right, we'll go for it, lads. See what happens. Not a great start, but it is what it is. Yep, yeah, that was expected, and so was that. That's good. That's not good. That's not good either. Big slash, big slash, good. At least Rene is going to absolutely tear them up. That was expected. Health Hauler will definitely come in handy in this instance. Yeah, that was not good. Will the Prescript did fucking nothing. Thank God we discovered Health Hauler is all I'm saying. Your defensive die did nothing. Your attack did nothing. That went well. That was something. At least that went well. Okay. Someone here has Mind Hauler, and I need to remember who it is. It's you. Because Mind Hauler can counteract hate. At least that's the plan. Their speed is going up a bit. Uh. Celestial Spear. Ah, finally you have something to counter it with. Oh my god, not Divinatory Impact, for God's sake. Best just make sure you're good to go next scene. Uh, oh boy. Oh yeah, it's a rough one, isn't it? Let's see, slash dice power plus two. Okay, so that's now... Uh, this is not going to work, but I'm just doing the math. Five to eight, okay? Seven to ten. Nine to twelve. That's now a nine to twelve, and that's a nine to twenty. 
I mean, it's unlikely, but it's not impossible. It's just extremely unlikely. And we don't really have any other options. That's not... That's just not good. That's just really bad. You can handle Brace Up. Godspeed is a bit more of a problem. You're probably not going to win anyway, though. So you may as well try for one where you can actually win. Oh, this is a rough one, for real. That's a bad one. Good job. That was actually really good. That was just terrible. That was just awful. If you lose any of these, you're fucked. Tiff. Lucky. Boom. See how they feel about that. Oh, that went well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. 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 Very good. They're practically staggered. Close. Closer than I thought. Uh, it's not going to go well for you, is it? No, no. Oh, boy. At least the burn is coming into play. That's not so bad. All Tiff needs to do is hit him with one good hit, and he will stagger. Well, they will stagger. Two, four, six. You don't have enough for Destroy Blade yet. That's unfortunate and upsetting. And the thing is, if Tiff loses, it, if Tiff loses that clash, she will stagger. And uh, that's a seven to ten versus a seven to nine. And Tiff is gaining one to strength, not to defense. You've got to go for lock. It's all you have. It's all you can do. Gerardo desperately needs to get their, their charge up so we can start benefiting from their buff. Confrontation, brace up, brace up. Brace ups can, in essence, be ignored. Maybe Fiery Dragon Slash will work for you, I don't know. Try and contest that, but I'm not expecting much. Celestial Spear. Well, it's time for Violet Blade, isn't it? It's time for Violet Blade. And you can beat Brace up. That's something, at least. It's a win, which, you know, we're not getting many of those at the moment. Forward March. Theoretically, Tiff can handle that, but if she uh, staggers, then she won't be able to handle that, you know? Try a feint. I suspect you're not going to do much next turn. Call it a hunch. Give that a try. The problem is, Faze just, Faze just doesn't have enough attacks to deal with that. Now, Emotional Turbulence will be able to block the most, but these are good attacks, it's worth pointing out. These are, these are, it's not just five shit die, it's five pretty fucking good die. Now, if I was to use Shan Kao, it would basically get blocked, it wouldn't do much. Fervent Emotion, similarly, I think Emotional Turbulence is the best bet there, but I'm not expecting much. Let's say we lean in on them a little bit. Let's see if we can get them to stagger. That was amazing. The fact that you actually dodged that first hit was incredible. Simply amazing. That's good. That's really good. You're just making her stronger. That's not good. Tiff might be gone. Tiff is gone. Big hit. Big hit. Oh, yes. If only it had saved you. We can still bring it back, but I have to admit, things don't look good right now. Yeah, we need love desperately. Now, who's low on health? No one, actually. Tiff was the one low on health, and she did. You have Mind Hauler, not Health Hauler, so you should get love. Yeah, you think it's over. Oh, how did they not stagger? But oh yeah, cause did oh god, it never no one no one staggered. Oh bollocks. Okay. It's fine, you see. It is actually fine. Normal slash stagger resist, okay? One on lock on you. Staggered. Oh fuck you. Oh no, because you'd have 20 charge bollocks. Damn it, that would have been amazing. Everyone is getting buffs, though. Bulky impact on that. You will probably stagger them. 
confrontation, huh? Oh, so world! I didn't even notice it happened. So world looks so fucking cool right now. <laughs> what a fucking legend. God fucking damn it. What a cool guy. Okay. Brace up is easily dealt with. And what's this? Celestial Spear. Could anyone intercept that by any chance with something good? It's a shame Gerardo doesn't have enough energy to use disposal because he could absolutely clean the board for us. Well, not clean the board, he could wipe someone out. Now, Bijir has a decent chance of beating Celestial Spit. Not a decent chance, it has a chance. More than a zero chance of beating Celestial Spit. You're getting plus two to it, so it's actually nine to twelve. We've established this kind of isn't enough, though. That would only leave you with one left. And that person with their Celestial Spear is not getting staggered this turn, no matter what we do. Unless, hang on, there could be a way. This is Mass Individual. That Spirit, the, the attack ain't going away, put it simply. But here's what we do. You need to contest something, that's fine. You will be staggered, you won't be. Use fervent emotions to make sure you win that clash, and then use violent flame. Start working them down. Okay. It's not a good scene there, it has to be said. Use multi slash anyway, and then throw out unlock two. On them. That person will almost definitely be staggered by the mass attack, so I say throw that down there. We are going to take some hits, almost definitely. There's no way I've planned for everything, but this might be the best way we can do it. You've got unlock three now. So throw that there too. Yeah, focus on knocking that person out so they don't use Celestial Spear. Some staggers went out. That person's dead. That person's nearly dead. Big hit. And stagger. Stagger. Yeah, we've done it. We've outplayed them. Good. Good. Consequence, we can do little about. It's going to be over soon. Hang in there, everybody. At least I'll hold them back a little. You're all fucked. I'm surprised that wasn't the end of the round, to be honest. We definitely want companion, because we're in this for the long haul. You'll give it to Rene because they tend to be quite fast. Now we have mass attacks. Yes, targets all other characters. We don't want that. <laughs> we just don't want that. Yeah, in name of love and hate, it's gotta be. Well, you can get some health back at the very least. You'll be something. There we go. I hope you can accept this. All right, that's round one. We lost someone, but we're in position to be quite powerful. We're looking quite strong at the moment. The problem is we are now going to be outnumbered. Yes, we are. And I'm going to assume that Miranene is not, in fact, a pushover. I wish we could pull someone in from a different floor to fill in for Tiff, or even that she'd come back with one HP. But no. You know, I don't think I made use of her uh, messenger mechanic at all. Yeah, I didn't use that at all. I completely forgot about it. Four trigrams, Hana for all. When gaining strength, endurance, protection, or sound protection through combat pages, give the same status effect to a random other ally as well. That's really good. Board march, brace up. Augury kick, gain one strength next scene. Gain two strength next scene. Celestial spear. True trigram formation gains additional effects depending on the four tri trigrams page. Gion, Gon, Gam, and Li used during the scene. Deal extra damage. Divinatory impact. Four trigrams, all for Hana. True trigrams. Unyielding strike. Seems different. Oh, he's got like a big metal glove. That's awesome. I don't know if we'll win this, I gotta be honest. I don't think we quite have it in us.
Don't worry, man, we'll finish this job and make it out alive. Anyways, I expect to see each other in Alpha often. Focus, we don't know what they're capable yet of yet. Don't we don't know. Direct Director Mirane, are you prepared? This is immediately gonna be a rough scene. You're not using the right stance. I wish you would. Nothing is actually gonna be in the name of love and hate. But let's use it to get rid of their celestial spear. That's a start. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Foreman, why didn't you switch to blunt stance to use um, in the name of love and hate? And the honest answer is because I didn't want to waste the light next scene to swap seat to swap stances. And I think you can only swap stances once every two scenes anyway. Plus, I'm not sure how much difference it will make. In the name of love and hate is almost guaranteed to smash through most of this shit. They're not using that div divinatory shit this turn, so we should be okay. Now. Can you defend yourself, or indeed intercept something that will allow other people to defend you? It looks like you can. Gain one endurance and take 30% less damage from stagger... ...and general's damage. Everyone's on gone? You serpent sword technique there, and just throw them off. Gerardo, you need to get your light up as soon as possible. You can at least contest that of concentration. Sorry, he needs to get his charge up as soon as possible. I am all over the place, I don't know if you've noticed. That's not going to go well, but if we throw out a bulky impact to take the hit, it'll blunt the damage. Yeah, they'll gain their strength, but Gerardo will be able to start applying those buffs. That'll be something. You can intercept that. Try and keep them off of Rene if you can. We can't stop them from doing that entirely, but we can do something about it. Celestial Spear. In this instance, I'd say All Out War. Because Tishan Cow would be pointless. The first attack would fail, the second attack would hit, and yes, it'd be good to get that second attack in, but may as well save it for when it's useful. You can do an unlock. You're not getting any counter die. Do some damage to her. You could do Raging Storm Love if we wanted to just really go for it on the first turn. And I'm not entirely against that, actually. Yeah, I've got an idea. You can protect Rene by doing that. Gerardo will take some hits, but it's okay. This is about all we got. Let's give me a moment and we'll see how it goes. The hope is that between our two um, mass attacks, we will remove most of their attacks, pretty much most of their die, and deal ungodly amounts of damage to immediately put them on a back foot and allow us to press the advantage. Maybe even a stagger or two. I don't know. I'm not betting on it, but I'm hoping for it. Go on, lads, make it happen. Good. Also good. Also good. Good. That went okay. Big burn stacks. Oh, your might. You have staggered, fool. Unfortunate, but it's fine. Big hit. Staggered him a bit. Another hit. Another hit. Burn. Okay, yeah, that didn't go too badly. We'll give that to Rene. Oh, Nihil. If there are no pages in hand, I'm pretty sure everyone has pages. I don't know, I think Gold Rush should be quite handy. There's not many individuals in the game that can actually manage a, or match a 5 to 15. Restoring light and gaining strength is good too. On the other hand, a sword sharpened with tears could just delete someone. We can kill you this turn. We can probably kill you fairly soon. We can stagger you soon. We've actually done an exceptional amount of damage to her already. This ego page feels important. It feels important that I pick the right one. Nihil is a no. It's between these two. Ceiling speed die, actually. Yeah, ceiling speed die. If we can do it to her, we can knock her out next turn. Yeah, we can knock her out next turn. You're now providing buffs. I want you to use, you to use the sword sharpen with tears on her. If that doesn't stagger her, it will knock out her speed die. Then... We'll see if we can get everyone else to protect you. So the world is back in Guandao mode and looks fucking awesome. 
You're gonna be a problem. You're gonna be a- Well, actually, you could be dealt with. Potentially. I'm just looking to see if there are any, um... Uh, what's the word? Celestial Spears, you know, looking for single high damage attacks. So, I don't know why it isn't showing uh, Abno pages anymore, but these people do have them. Yeah, there it is. Violet Blade has a strong chance to just stagger outright. And if it fails to do that, it has a 25% chance to remove all of their die. Big risks. I don't know if it's won us the fight, but sometimes a tactical application of an all-out offensive can, uh, can do a lot for you. It's going to be impossible to stagger them. It's physically impossible to do so. We're just, you're just going to take a lot of hits from them. It's inevitable. Use Bajir. Oh, but if you use Bajir, you can't use Janir. Make that one hit really fucking count. Make sure they die. Will the prescript that keep them off of uh, Gerardo? And then Moe slash that and hope you get lucky. Celestial Spear. Don't even worry about it. Just take the hit. Instead, focus your attacks on them. You're not going to stagger them before they get to do anything, but actually you can help make sure... Actually, no, Rene's got that covered easily. Instead of clashing directly, go around their attack. And apply some damage. It's the best you've got. It is the best you've got. Go for it. There we go. Boom! Yeah, the power of fucking slash stacking. Goddamn. Expected. Perfect. Oh, wrecked. So wrecked. Wrecked. Wrecked again. Dead. Extremely dead. I'm not upset. You seem it. You seem pretty upset. Also dead. Try to stay composed. Yeah, we'll be defeated at this rate. Goodbye. Exceptional. These nuggets are going above and beyond. Must be said. The rest of us should be more careful. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh my god, Sir World is there. Sir World has arrived. Sir World. <laughs> oh! Guys, I think the fight is over. Stick a fork in them, they're done. Shit's fucked. True trigram formation, eh? Sir World, just hit him with your best shit. Just do it. Just do it, though. Make sure they die. They probably will, but make sure. All right, they're not um, uh, staggered. Their speed dice have been taken away. I see. Good reason to focus on them and make sure they go down. For a frontal assault of them to make sure they die, and then... Violet Flame. Anti Shankao. Just make sure. Let's take no risks. This should be done. Oh my god, they actually blocked it. Oh, because it's mass summation, isn't it? Yeah. And considered that. They're going down. Sure enough. Jesus Christ, the world. You're a hero. You can take it. You don't give a fuck. Yeah, so well, don't give a shit. Oh, so done. He's a tough guy, it must be said. Give him his dues, he's a tough guy. You know what, he might not get staggered this turn. Nah, he's staggered. Bam! Yeah, yeah, yeah. A desire doesn't come without the risk of losing something of my own. The rest of us should be more careful. <sighs> it's too late, buddy, it's too late. Goodbye. Done. The star has already risen too high up in the sky. Ah, uh, it was tough. It was very tough. Not going to pretend we weren't on the ropes for a bit there. In the first round, anyway. It's not that we were in danger of losing the first round. It's that we were in danger of beating the first round too poorly to be able to defeat the second round. But no, once we got ourselves going, there was no stopping us. Absolute train wreck on that second round. Jesus Christ.
I love that Gerardo Pippi's portrait is just a torso. Ah, <laughs> uh, very good. Who wants to bet, don't, please don't confirm it in the comments, but who wants to bet that Olivier becomes a uh, manifest ego or becomes a distortion? Calling it now. Mm-hmm. Yes. You probably will eventually, though. Even they're freaking out, especially since we just wiped out another of their sec one of their sections. Yes. Any ecosystem can be broken with enough pressure, Roland. I'm sure the head will survive. Nothing is going to bother the head, but the head, well, the head is the representation of the city. The head is not the city. The head can survive while the city is destroyed. That is a thing that could happen. Stands around looking all intimidating and such. Right, so this lends into what people were saying, like, um, even with all their cloning tech, R Corp couldn't just knock out A Corp, because it's literally run by the head themselves. Now, I'm willing to take all of your word for that, because obviously the head is incredibly powerful, but the thing I noticed in the comments about that, which bugged me slightly, it's not a bad, not like a bad thing, it's just it bugged me because you're not seeing the scale here. People were like, were like yeah, but bear in mind, like, uh, you know, Bina was an incomplete arbiter and she could take out a squad of rabbits, and I'm like, yeah, but guys, you're not thinking of scale. We're not talking a squad. We're not talking a couple hundred. There were 5,000 Mios alone fighting for the position of top Mio. Just Mios. 5,000 of them. And Rhino Boy claims to have fought 10,000. Was it 10,000 of himself or a thousand? I can't remember what he said, but he fought thousands of himself. Presumably the other members fought thousands of themselves. I'm not saying they'd win. I'm not saying they could take the city, because you all seem pretty convinced they can't. That's fair enough. But, at the very least, I don't think you guys are appreciating the potential scale. It doesn't matter how good you are when 5,000 people are coming at you. Now, yes, the head could probably win anyway. The head is being described as a power beyond anyone's reckoning, but it would not be quite as simple as I think a lot of you think it would be. Y'all are so used to your big pro-tag anime characters that you forget that 5,000 guns will put down pretty much anything. <laughs> but, to be fair, a Corp is incredibly powerful, I imagine. The head themselves is even more powerful. Arbiters and claws are a thing. They have more than one of each, I would assume. They could probably deal with with Dark Warp. I think they probably could. But we're not dealing with a couple hundred or a couple squads. We're dealing with thousands. And sometimes numbers is just too much. Numbers can be where you aren't. But once again, I don't think Dark Corp would have been able to take the city based on the information you guys gave me. But that's irrelevant. Now, of course, just to, as a quick addendum to what I just said, the entire R Corp invasion of the city completely breaks down if they don't take key points quickly enough that A Corp and the rest don't just shut off what they need in order to do what they do, right? If they shut off their power, it would, it would all rely on lightning fast strikes, and if it doesn't work, then R Corp's fucked. So, you know, it's not. The head would win. The city would win. The city would defeat R Corp. I'm almost certain. But I think they have the potential to be able to do it. And that's a good point, actually. Their information gathering is probably pretty good. It would be quite difficult for R Corp to keep an invasion of the city secret. I don't suppose you've heard about how much trouble MI6 had during World War II to plan and carry out the invasion in Normandy, but it was a massive counterintelligence operation, and every single day, all of higher command were sweating buckets, thinking the Germans would find out what was going to happen. It's not easy to conceal an invasion, <laughs> especially not with those kinds of numbers. Somehow MI6 did it, I don't know if our corp could. It wouldn't surprise me if the head themselves was actually a singularity. 
각각 날개 A사, B사, C사를 직속으로 관리하고 운영하지. So the eye and the claw are individuals. Actually, no, nothing here actually says that these are individuals. We don't know that for sure at all. 조율자와 발톱으로? Through arbiters and claws. 그런 건또 알고 있네. You've, she's dealt with, well, she's dealt with a version of them, I suppose. 붉은 안개가 있었던 연구시설이 머리에 의해 무너졌거든. 칼리는 동료들을 지키기 위해 조율자와 발톱을 처치한 후 죽었고. She did quite well. And as people have pointed out, Beta only lost because she didn't understand ego. 뒤에 있는 이들을 지키고자 마지막까지 힘을 다했을 모습과 상황은 다시 볼수 없겠지. Probably not. 어떤 느낌인지 알겠네. 뭐 아무튼 머리에서 도시의 불순물이라고 판단하면 조율자, 응시자, oh. 발톱들을 파견해서 어떻게든 속아내려고 해. Oh, but we're an impurity of the sea. Oh, so we're going to be flying arbiters, beholders, and claws. Oh well, I'm going to get to measure how strong they actually are then. We'll see if my little theory about our corpse invasion plan still holds fruit. 그날의 연구는 도시의 불순물이었던 걸까? 하지만 정말 이상한 걸 저번에 호드에게도 들었지만 도시 내부도 아닌 외곽의 연구실에 조율자가 직접 행차했다는 거야? 난 아직 이 부분을 이해할 수 없단 말이지. It's a bit weird. 너도 여러 사서에게 들어서 알겠지만 거짓은 아니야. 나도 그 이유를 모르겠지만. 머리가 지금은 잠잠하다는 건 도시의 상황이 괜찮다고 판단해서일까? I'd love it if they were just like, now why is the head staying quiet? What are they up to? They must be planning something big. And it turns out the head just died on the toilet. No one's gone in to look. <laughs> They've been gone for a while. <laughs> Everyone's like, ah, oh, the head, the head, they must be doing something special. And like, no, nah, it's just dead. It just fucking died of natural causes. 일단은 그렇다고 볼수 있겠지? Well, Bean is technically a visitor from the head, but all of her memories were erased. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, here we go. We've got abnormalities to deal with now. Yeah, you've got two abnormalities left. And you've got two abnormalities left. So we've got another abnormality to do each before realizations. Oh, oh, more Hana. Okay, all right, fair enough. I thought we were just like, <laughs> it's every time I look. Are my mods not in play right now? They should be. Why have I only got three Harold books? Hang on, I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, that's better. I can't be asked to grind these fights anymore. So Harold and Mirane are both um, Obshay Dars, so that's quite good. We're getting more and more of those. We'll start with Harold. Yep, these are some good attack. After image, half the amount of status elements on self rounded up. Harold is pretty fucking cool, it must be said. Unyielding strike. Divinatory impact is ridiculous. I bet you can break that. I bet you can break it. All you need is some endurance and strength bonuses, and you just improve the value of a divinatory strike like tenfold not tenfold obviously but significantly damn true trigram formation i bet olivia is going to be some real business all right well we're not spinning the wheel now ladies and gentlemen instead we're going to be doing abnormalities uh, hooray we'll start with philosophy so you could combine a fighter that never retreats with uh, Hana for all to give everyone emotional uh, strength and endurance, surely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, philosophy has been set up for a fight. So I have no idea what the gimmick for the next abnormality is, so God knows if we've even been built properly. But for Bina, I went empowered first shot, Hana for all, and a fighter that never retreats because I figure... This is, I'm just playing around with the concept at the moment, but I figure that every time her emotion level goes up, everyone's going to gain strength and endurance. That's probably pretty good. Do any of yours actually improve your own stats? Nah. Nah. So it's not actually, it's not that great, but I'm just playing around with a concept at the moment. 
Uh, Providence has the Ujap page because, man, it's just really good. It worked really well during uh, the Yand fight, so I think it'll work well here. Gave them Hellfaller instead of, um, I can't remember what it's called, the, uh, the Fixer one that allows you to heal on clashes now, healing on successful attacks. So that's good. Cosporcus has Esther's page. This is Amelisiel's deck that has been modernized as she has provided a new template, a new a new setup, as it were, with Frontal Assault, Wedging Thorn, Multi Slash, Snake's Prey, Shoving Stab, Somber Procuration, Venomous Fangs, Will of the Prescript, and Laceration, running with Stiletto, Wedge, and Keeping in Stride. Big damage, and bleed on top of that for even bigger damage. I'm thinking it'll work quite well. Lamarcus has the Purple Tears page, it suits them visually, it seems good. And Melsai has Nikolai's page, I don't think I've changed much here. Uh, well, actually, can I add another thing? I can add more things. Hold the phone. Okay, yeah, so Nikolai's page, I've replaced um, Frontal Assault with Energy Cycle with the idea of using Energy Cycle as a one-sided attack and also gaining additional charge because we just want this page to get to 11 charge as quickly as possible to provide buffs to everyone. That's really what we want. But what I've done for their passive attributions is Bionic Charge, Synchronized Hull for the extra protection, Maximum Crash, obviously, Charge Shield, and Keeping in Stride. It's hoping it works out, but we don't really know what we're up against right now, so it's probably going to be a disaster. What? The final episode of the Flora Philosophy story, but we have two abnormalities we haven't discovered. But, but, but I'm scared. Hold up. Well, I mean, I'm not going to check Hockmas right now, but I'm going to assume it's the same way. All right. Well, it's we're only an hour and 44 minutes into the recording, and that's not including, um, and that is including prep time for making decks and stuff, so we've still got time. Let's give it a try, I suppose. Lola. I'm Angela's one-born identity. Do you know? I wonder how this is going to play out. Also, wow, really not looking forward to fighting the birds again, but whatever. Ani, Bonnie and Tetter and Jagan also. Nado Kuji came Kuji Janko. Yeah, Carmen wasn't all that. Angel and Carmen Iran and Sarame Punta Mandra Danta. Do she will pack Kugo Jetan Saramiche? Honago? Could you look at Sidio and Dapsigo, Saramel Moton, Carmen? I suppose if you hadn't played the Bobby Corporation, this would be quite a revelation, wouldn't it? You'd be like, what? No way! I have no idea. I did play the Bobby Corporation. Respectable. Carmeni都达拉斯的摩天蛋。Yeah。自身的目标を把持下，比如说，研究的结果也到达了，所以说。Morinen，可，他们，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，都，
모순과 미련으로 점철한 자기 혐오. 동시에 인간과 다를 법게 마음을 지닐 수 있는 엔젤라를 고통 속에 버려둔 광기. Not a smart move. 아름답다고 생각하지 않니? Ah, it's brilliant. 아름답기는 개뿔. 그 사람도 완전 또라이 중 상또라이였네. Speaking for the audience there, Roland. It's funny because when you play Lobcorp, you, you still kind of get where he's coming from, but the moment you move on to Ruina, you're like, nah, fuck that guy. Nugungaige <laughs> Sonyotse. Like, yeah, like Hawkmer and no one else. Fana Yise Sange, Sonen of Danda. Sonro Yogajin and Gomani Sipun. Kainen, Kami Pupionjog in Pandan or Hersko of Danda. Gra Nugungaigan and Agio Sertago. Very much so. Ingan and Nil Munga at Silmajigo, Sesang and Parapoki Marinici. You're interesting to listen to, Beaner. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Oh, here we go. Watch it be Iori, and then everything's just fucking crazy from that point onwards. Apparently, he took to it quite quickly. Technically, yes, but as I'm sure it probably turned out, no. 정나란 도시의 민낯을 보며 생각했다. 부족할 게 없는 삶 정도면 될까? 둥지에서 살면 행복해지는 걸까? 연기의 내음과 사람 냄새가 가득한 시절이 끝날 무렵. Smoke wars? 꺼져. 이 새끼 내 몫이야. 고맹이 주제 날이 서 있구나. 요상한 가면이나 쓰고. He fought alongside Salvador. 꺼지라고 했지. Then he told him to fuck off twice. 그렇게 뒤만 신경 써서 제일 중요한 걸 놓치면 어떡하나? Yeah, listen to the old man. He's got some drip. 고맙다고는 안할 거야. 어려나실까? 그리고 이놈 모가지 목수 내 거야. 새파랗게 어린 놈이 전쟁에 참가한 이유가 뭐야? Long young green sprout. Rollins a little sprout. 신경 끄시지. He's an edgy little sprout. 보나마나 둥지 이주권을 얻으려고 온 거겠구만. 당신도 그래? He didn't call him an old fart. 난 둥지 출신이라 이미 둥지에서 살고 있지. 그럼 왜 참전한 거야? 거참 세상 물정 모르는 꼬마군. 보려. He was a tough-looking guy back then. He didn't have the mustache. He looked a lot like Walter, actually. 아이사 둥지 소속 배지. 덕패 전체를 고용해서 말이야. 솔직히 나도 왜 싸우는지 모르겠다. I'm still not clear on what the smoke war is. I only know that it's a war. 이 연기 때문에 도시가 개판이 났지만 알려주는 게 없으니 우리는 그저 명령받은 대상을 죽일 뿐이지. 그게 해결서와 도시의 규칙이니까. 고맹이, 네가 지금까지 전쟁에서 죽인 놈은 몇이냐? He's covered in blood, so probably some. 23. 네 목숨에 스물세 명 이상의 가치가 있다고 생각하나? 아니, 나도 살기 위해 검을 휘둘렀을 뿐이야. Makes sense. 내 목숨은 하나의 값어치밖에 없겠지. 어딘가의 높은 분들은 이 연기 한 줌에는 만명 이상의 가치가 있다고 생각하더군. Interesting, interesting. It's almost as if they don't fucking care. 봐라, 저게 연기의 근원이다. 참으로 추악하고 뻔하군. No wonder Roland remembers him. 
가면을 쓴 채로 도를 해? 응? <웃음> 더러운 자식 나까지 토해버렸잖아 <웃음> Take your fucking mask off you weirdo 저건 대체 뭐야? 익숙해지는 게 좋을 거야 도시를 움직이는 특이점이란 것들은 죄다 이런 법이니까 뭐 이런 광경을 본 이상 기억 소거 절차를 밟을 거야 그래도 더러운 기분은 사라지지 않겠지 뭐라고? 와 도시의 화려함은 결국 이런 거였어? 야 이딴 것이 도시를 숨쉬게 한다고? 귀한 경험했네 꼬맹이 Shame you'll forget it 그날 본 연기의 근원은 기억나지 않는다 I guess you didn't forget it 그러나 도시를 풍족하게 만드는 것에 추악한 자태는 잊히지 않는다 구역질 나는 세상 그 자체 자신의 편의가 수많은 타인의 희생 위에 세웠다는 것조차 모르겠지 Literally 알고 싶지 않겠지 전쟁이 끝나고 난 다시 도시로 녹아들어 해결사일만 했다 많은 사람을 만나고 그렇게 수많은 사경을 넘긴 후내 주위에 남은 건 찰스 사무소의 해결사 12명뿐 Charles office 당장 내 눈앞에서 지워쳐 아 잠버릇이 고약하네요 Angelica, huh? Angelica, huh? Angelica, huh? 잠깐 졸았을 뿐이야 넌 뭐지? 아 네가 그 새로운 녀석이겠군 이 의뢰에 참여한 놈들 다 돼진 거 알지? 내 영혼이 심연의 바닥을 헤맬 때에도 고통은 늘 곁에 앉아 나를 지켜주었으니 어떻게 고통을 원망하겠습니까? 또라의 당첨이군 As if it wasn't obvious enough, the game, like, you know, Runer is good at, like, foreshadowing without spelling things out too much, but if you needed any more confirmation as to whom this character is and whom they are in relation to, here's this line, just to make sure you really get it. Yeah. Your wife is a reverberation sister, aren't they, Roland? Sorry, your ex-wife. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's all but confirmed now. Yeah, be nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Take your mask off, you fucking idiot. Nega Bultenen, Tangshin Dotoraeo. Kibuna Puge, Mebon Kamenel Sugoita Gutrosto. Shilogan Hakshirango Katimanio. Kamenel Potian Yura Duinao. Because he's average looking. The greatest curse of all. Kemuchima. 서로 높은 등급의 해결사니까 선은 지키자고 알만큼 알잖아 모르는데요? 소리 보면 나보다 나이는 더 많은데 기분 나쁘게 왜 존댓말이야 <웃음> 그리고 너 각오해 찰스 사무소 계약 기간 끝나기 전에 방금 두 대는 그대로 갚아줄 테니까 Yeah, good luck with that 세 대인데요? <웃음> 뭐? 두대 맞았는데 <웃음> 안젤리카와 나는 도시의 별급 사건을 담당하며 처음으로 만났다. He was doing Star of the City work back in his heyday. 장기 임무는 특성상 필연적으로 말을 섞게 된다. 차라리 그때 침묵으로 일관했어야 한 걸까? Probably yes. 너무 많은 동료. 아니 동료라 할 수도 없을 만큼 찰나의 죽은 자들에 대한 미련 때문일까? 왜 나는 마음을 열었던 걸까? 난 외곽 출신이에요. 정확히는 어느 날개의 실험 대상자였나 봐요. I explains a lot. 실험이 끝나니 외곽에 버려진 거죠. 무슨 실험을 받았는지 기억은 안 나지만 끔찍한 느낌은 떨쳐낼 수 없어요. 
그거 참안 됐네. 매정하네요. 너무 뻔해서. 하긴 뻔하다면 뻔한 이야기네요. It's very cliche. 그럼 당신은 어때요? 그 가면에 대해 더 들려주세요. I wonder if Roland had a title back then. If he was a guy who always wore a fucking mask, surely he had some sort of like, oh, that's it's that guy, the thingy thingy, you know. <웃음> 일에 집중해. Yeah, focus on work, man. 가면을 쓴 것은 어린 시절 노인이 알려준 조언 때문이다. It's not a bad idea, to be honest. 해결사 일을 할때 얼굴이 팔리지 않는 게 중요하다는 취지였던 걸로 기억한다. Smart. 그러나. 가면을 벗지 못하는 다른 이유가 생겼다. 차마 벗을 수가 없었다. 밀토 씨의 앞에서 떳떳이 있을 수 없어졌기 때문에 그렇게 가면 안은 떨쳐낼 수 없는 나만의 세계가 되었다. 그 방으로 들어가지 마세요. 잘못했어요. 제가 다 잘못했어요. 그러니 오빠만 제발 오빠만 There's a little rat there <laughs> There's a little rat Gotcha 임무 중에 졸단이 빠졌구만 그리고 잠버릇은 네가 더 심각한데? 야 잠깐만 이거 너무 아프잖아 <laughs> 두대 남았어 게다가 아프다고 반말을 하네. 아 제가 좀 흥분했네요. 자는 도중 어린 시절 기억이 났나 봐요. 전에 얘기했잖아. 오빠가 있다는 건 처음 듣지만. Yeah, and he would grow up to be the biggest problem in the world. 롤랑은 어때요? 이제 이야기해 줄 때도 됐잖아요. 난 연기 전쟁에 참여했어. 지독한 연기가 한동안 도시 전체를 감쌌죠. 그래. 그 지독한 연기의 근원을 봐버렸지. 무엇이 연기였는지 기억나진 않아. 그래도 보면 안될걸 봤다는 기분은 가시지 않더군. 그리고 그 역겨운 근원과 같은 짓거리에 나도 가세하고 있는 것만 같은 느낌. 그건 마치 속에서 무언가가 끓어오르는 듯한 기분이야. 수많은 고통이 도시를 맴돌고 있죠. 어쩌면 당신이 늘 가면을 쓰는 이유도. 이봐, 그것으로 목표가 접근하고 있다. 아, Olivia, my guy. 다시 집중해. 곧이 지긋지긋한 임무도 끝날 테니까. 나와 안젤리카가 쫓는 대상은 피피밤. Oh, interesting. 교묘한 수법으로 뒷골목과 둥지 사람을 가리지 않고 납치했다. 납치한 대상은 이윽고 뒷골목 어디선가 시체로 발견한다. I mean, you don't earn the name Blood Red Knight by returning people in one piece, do you? 움직이는 시체로. Ah, uh, so was she work? Was uh, was she working with the puppeteer even back then? No, I don't think. They didn't seem to know each other that very that well on the warp train. 몸뚱이 안에는 아무것도 없다. 그들이 대체 어떻게 움직일 수 있는 건지 모르겠다. Does she have her own puppeteering shit? 하지만 그들은 계속해서 움직였다. 그텅빈 곳을 채우려는 양. 그들은 끝없이 싱싱한 것을 원했다. Does she make zombies? 갑작스레 도시의 별로 지정한 까닭은 둥지가 직접적인 손해를 입어서겠지. 드디어. 놈의 안방에 도착했구만. 이곳에 오기까지 너무 많은 사람이 죽었어요. 너랑 나는 끈질기게 살아남았지만 말이야. 운이 좋은 걸까요? 나쁜 걸까요? So I wonder how Elena feels knowing that she's work like you know she's working with um Argalia, who's doing everything, all the things he's doing, he's doing for his sister, whom helped put her down. I assume. Hmm. 이걸 봐. 이게 대체 몇 명분이야? 어림잡아 삼천 명은 되는 것 같은데. 정확히는 사천 백 일흔 두 명의 침실이지. 하. Wow. 
Hold on a minute. Roland, you didn't tell us you had a cool sword. That's a really cool sword. Unsurprising. Sounds about right. We, we just saw this line. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
분명 넌 좋은 사람일 수는 있어도 현명한 사람은 아닐 것이다. 아. 내가 짊어진 고통에 대해 들어줬다. 그리고 외면할 방법을 알려줬다. 너는 내 고통을 받아들였다고 했으나 받아들인 척을 할 뿐이었다. 나의 고통이여. 너는 더없이 사랑하는 연인보다 다시 꿈은 즐거운 아 That's a pretty cool design Hold up Is that a combination of all three? Have you gone judgment bird on us? Big bird, the mouth Punishing bird, the bandages ju Judgment bird 난 깊은 곳에서 종말을 연주하는 사람 중 하나에 지나지 않을지니 Oh, you motherfucker! Bina, I appreciate your nonchalance and confidence, but we're gonna die. Oh, bollocks. Once upon a time, three happy birds lived in a warm and lush forest. Oh, no. Lamp. I wonder if we can be of any help. You're right, even minor thoughts are hard to change on my own. It needs a lot of energy. To take a revelation and actually change your mindset. Don't know, we've got to do what we can somehow. Indeed, we shall let him freely utter his sentiments first. Oh boy. A lamp that burns forever, starting with the first scene, inflicts a random assistant librarian with enchanted every three scenes. More librarians are affected with subsequent occurrences. Just one simple act, I'll give you a permanent and comfortable rest. Starting with the third scene, uses the combat page darkness every three scenes. Each time an ally is defeated, permanently gain 5 Feeble and Disarm. When all allies die, all stagger damage resistance is changed to Fatal, so these need to die. I'm only helping you so you will no longer tremble. There won't be anything to be afraid of anymore. Just go to sleep. Fall asleep. Okay. So, yeah. Have you been enchanted? You have. Use a special combat page targeting Roland. Takes no damage when it's hit by allies. They make it a lot more obvious on this one, don't they? I don't think it, it might have said that during the Big Bird fight, but I don't think it did. I could be wrong, willing to accept I'm wrong, but I don't think it did. Lamarcus, are you wearing purple tears gear? Oh, do you have to take on the appearance because of the three swords? Well, to be fair, Lamarcus looks fucking sick right now, actually. That looks really cool. Lock stance? No, I'd prefer you were in slash stance, to be honest. You'll join me in sleep here. Uh-huh. Now, who has a bitch attack that they can- Oh, well, actually, you won't take damage, but we don't want you to take, um... Sass effects. So... First of all... Please switch to slashing stance. There we go. And then, um... Oh, it changed your moves. How annoying. Okay, we'll do that. And then... Intense stare. On hit, forces target to attack this character next scene, unless target is enchanted. Use Serpent Slash. Start slow. There we go. That's sorted. Um, brood. Well, we can ignore those entirely, can't we? Yes, and in fact, we should ignore those entirely. You've only got two swings, so use... Uh, yeah, Snake's Prey. Okay. It must be said, we only need to combat their attacks. We also need to be relatively quick about this. You won't gain power against Cosporcus. So hit him hard. That's all of their attacks, so you can use Absorb Impacts to start gaining energy. Because you need it. You don't have any attacks right now. Okay, alright. I think we I think we've got this relatively set. You're not gonna take any damage from the attacks coming in on you, so it's okay. Perfect. Big hits. Minor hit in return. Simple as. Big energy gains. That eye is almost dead already. Big hits. Clumsy jog doesn't fucking matter. Oh, you got Oh, right. They do suffer stagger damage, though. Interesting. Didn't know that. 
Then we've got one more scene of being enchanted, though. So it should be okay. They're still using salvation. Use unlock two. Raise the grass. That's them taken care of. Now let's look around for all of the attacks, like Oculus Dab, and make sure they don't happen. You can go nip nip in the bud. Oculus Dab. It's risky, but you use Snake Slit. I think you can make that happen. Oculus Dab. Okay, okay. Her emotion went up here. It didn't appear to give everyone else some, uh, strength, so I don't think it works quite the way I wanted to, which is a shame, but not a big deal. Bean would be better off waiting for now, I suppose. They're going to die from um, Snake Slit, almost certainly. Because they've got Fairy as well, so they're fucked. What other attacks are coming in? Intense Stare. Sturdy Defense, and then Graze the Grass there, and that's sorted. Okay. You've got a free attack. Spend it wisely. They're going to die, I'm almost certain. Almost certain. He's wedging Thorn on them. All right, go for it, lads. Bad times for you. Oh, that's no good. But this is better. There we go. Fucked. Straight up gone. Good job, Lamarcus. You're an absolute legend. Big hit. Deflection. Free deflection. You'll love to see it. Sort them out. Unfortunate, but you got your light for it, so it's still fine. I'm going to give Eternally Lit Lamp to um, Providence because he can protect himself. You're now doing a mass attack, Darkness. On use, inflict darkness on all characters, including self, this scene. I don't know what darkness does. That's a little concerning. Okay. I was about to say, did I forget to put a Nikolai in here, but Maelstar is the Nikolai, I remember now. <clears throat> okay, well, it's time for uh, perhaps some bulky impacts. You're not gaining any buffs. Try and deal with Ocular Stab. Blind Faith would be a good shout to combat that. That will easily do it. And use that against someone weaker. And then... Violet Blade, that motherfucker. Oh, you can't actually intercept them. Okay, never mind. Uh, you Violet Blade them, they'll stagger. It's a shame you can't contest mass attacks with mass attacks, because I'd love to, but... No, it doesn't work that way. Alright, this should be okay. Go for it. It is okay, just about. Let's get out of this place. I'll help you with it. That's no good. Big hit. Oh, they're fucked. Stagger deflects. Fucking dead. Good job. Staggered. Almost dead. It's going quite well. I don't know what darkness does, though. We'll find out soon. I bet it makes it so we can't kill it this turn, which would be really annoying. Blade unlocked. Very fucking good. Does anyone make extensive use of evade die? You have some. You have one. You have none. You have one. You have two. I'm actually going to give Weight of Sin to uh, Lamarcus because he'll roll that minimum die and then change his mind and roll the maximum die and gain the benefits, presumably. So what does Darkness do? Unaffected by power-related effects for one scene. Okay. Do we have two enchanted characters now? Enchanted. Enchanted. Yeah, straight up. Okay, well, that's no good. Yeah, because you have a lot of die. How annoying. Fortunately, they don't take damage. Which is good, because we're... 
Why is your speed at one? Bound. Oh, I see. It's going to suck, but this is the only way to keep them alive. I'm going to have to inflict some bleed. Oh, that's a lot of bleed. Okay, so Lamarcus won't act next turn. Let's keep that in mind. In fact, both of these might have to not act next turn. Because they're both going to suffer rather heavy status effects. Um... And then you can take that thing out. It's what we've got for now. We can't attack Lamp anyway. Ah. Ah. Ah, it's bad. Ah, it's no good. Ah, the bleeding. Ah, that's six bleed. There we go. That's good. That could be handy. We'll give that to you. Oh, why don't you have any energy? God damn it. Okay, so you 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 have fairy and you have a lot of bleed. Hold on, but you still have salvation. Wait, how are we supposed to break through? Oh, disarmed and feeble, I see. Ah, yes, I do see. Yes, I understand the video game now, yes. Oh, indeed, rather. Here we go, Moe Slash, Wedging Thorn, Frontal Assault. Graze the grass. And then ready up. And then you... These are counter dice, so they won't actually do anything. Give him some real problems. I want you to give him some real problems. I want you to just really give him some problems. That's my plan for you. Break. Yes, seal his speed die. It'll be funny. Hilarious. Big hits. They might stagger, though. Yeah, you staggered. That's fine. It all works out, actually. Oh, but you're taking extra damage from the fairy. Yeah. Did they get their... They got all their stagger resist back. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, you're fucked then, aren't you? Yeah, you're using darkness. Good for you. Although that will affect us in the next scene, probably. Nevertheless... Go for him. No worries. They will probably die this scene, actually. They're taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Yeah, they're fucked. That's them taken care of. All right, it's time for the next round. Are we going into it with darkness? Big Bird with its many eyes decide to watch over the forest for intruders, for Big Bird's eyes can see very far and see things we cannot see. Oh, interesting. Do we still... We don't have darkness anymore, thank Christ. Is it right for someone to impose their own definition of justice and punish others based on it? Depends on the person. Right now, we have that beast to handle. Hang on, we're not going to have to face what I'm thinking of at the end of this, are we? I would suggest you be faithful to the present moment rather than worry about the future. Yeah, I would too. Beak. Misdeeds not allowed! This looks complicated. Offensive dice gain plus 50 power when clashing against offensive dice. If the character takes damage, inflicts Punish E on the attacker, enters Punishment Mode next turn. In Punishment Mode, the number of dice increases to 5 for one scene and uses a special combat page against the character that last attacked him. Also, all stagger damage resistance is changed to Fatal. 
Whenever Roland is not in punishment mode, he gains vigilance every two scenes, and switch between attack and defense modes each scene. When Roland is in punishment mode, enter attack mode for the scene. Prioritize is targeting staggered characters. Speed is fixed at specific values each scene. Offensive dice gain plus two power against targets with slower speed. HP does not go below one. When HP drops to one, go into a dormant state and awaken in three scenes with full HP and stagger resist. Is it truly wicked to commit a sin and then fear the punishment? Bruce, smack, whiffle. Are you gonna whiffle? Are you gonna whiffle at me? Okay, well, we can't really fight that, can we? Oh, whiffle! Let's see, this is where things get tricky for me. Right. Obviously, we all remember misdeeds not allowed. Offensive die gain plus 50 power when clashing against offensive dice. Specifically, offensive again against offensive. Let's remember that. That's important. Um, if the character takes damage, inflicts punishy on the attacker, enters punishment mode next scene. In punishment mode, the number of speed dice increases to 5, and he used special combat pages against the last character that attacked him, but all his stagger damage resistance is changed to fatal, and he can take damage from slash attacks. My only guess right now would be to just deal with these guys. As best we can. You're providing us all with buffs, that's very good. You've got plus two on Aerofin now. But this is a difficult scene, it must be said. I'm not quite sure how to handle it. We have to ignore those attacks, obviously. What are we supposed to do? We don't have any purely defensive die, so that's not an option. The only potential thing we could do is use sturdy defense, because the um, 3 to 10 um, evade die will probably deal with everything. But do we want to do that while all of his mates are alive? The answer is probably not. I assume we don't. Best to focus on taking these guys down for now. I uh, noticed that we only beat one scene and then um, the music changed, which means this is going the way it's going, if you know what I mean. We're getting- we're going there. It's gonna happen. Oh, it is cool though. Okay, I need to stop just staring and actually figure shit out. Deal with smack. Don't deal smack, deal with smack. I must clarify. Problem is, this is where it gets confusing visually, because I can barely fucking pass what's on screen right now. I kind of want to save Providence's sturdy defenses because I think we'll need them to deal with Roland. Or at least get him into punishment mode. It's three scenes before it comes back, so it gives us time to do stuff. It's a tricky one, guys. It really... I don't know. Maybe it's simpler than I think, but it feels tricky. Try Venomous Fangs. Roost. Somber Procuration, and then... Multi slash. Yeah, just a multi slash follow up. For now, you build up your charge. And it would be worth getting uh, Male Star's energy at max so he's doing the maximum amount of damage any given time. Unlock. Alright. Let's just play the fight and see how it goes for now. Wrecked. And look at that. Wrecked again. Whiffle! He's he did. I don't care what you say, he did. That worked out quite well. Preen is an awkward one, but it's not crippling, so we should be able to just sort of withstand it for now. Not surprising. Probably should have given him something a little stronger to use, but I wasn't particularly worried about doing damage in that moment. I'm really glad that failed. Lam I nearly killed Lamarcus. I forgot about counter die and how much of a problem that would be. Okay. Well, they're now staggered. Salvation seems useful.
You're the one with tilted scale, so we want you to start attacking people to give Lamarcus' health back. Okay, yeah, I remember. Uh, oh, boy. Fortunately, that's all the damage they did to Lamarcus. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Rapid flutters. Defensive die gain plus 50 power when clashing against offensive die. Is this the time to go for him? With my knowledge of um, the power of fairy... With the power, with the power of fairy, um, inflicts three fairy to the target. Yeah. I would love to do that, but you actually need to make sure you're getting light back. I just realized how important that'd be. Um, yeah, but with the power of fairy, right? If we just lean in on him, could we just crush him, basically? Is that going to be possible? He is taking negligible damage from everything we do. But it could be poss- it could be possible, surely. We'll contend all these attacks that we need to contend and ignore everything else. I'm really gambling on this, ladies and gentlemen. I really am. But if this works... Remember, we only need to stagger him. If we can stagger him, we're in the money. I feel like I'm making a huge mistake, but I also feel like I'm doing big fun. So, yeah. You're at 20 charge. You're going to do the maximum amount of damage you could possibly do. Go for him. Go for him. Is this a bad move? Yes. More fairy. More fairy. More fairy. More fairy. His stagger has already been halved. Rex. Oh yeah, this is going to work. I'm very confident in this now. This is going to work. Yep. Might even die this turn. Rex. Yep, that's healing Lamarcus. Brilliant. Good. Alright, that went quite well. Shockingly well. Small bird decided to punish the creature's wrongdoings with its beak. Oh wow, he's using Apocalypse. Oh wow, he's using the sword. We don't have any dialogue for this scene for some reason. Oh no, this is the- oh no, this is the sin one. Oh fuck, I don't remember how to do this. Takes no damage from bleed, burn, or fairy. Yeah, they knew. Yeah, they knew. But that was a good strategy for the last scene, and it managed to allow us to avoid, um... You know, losing anyone to punishment bird. So let's just have a look at Justicia. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. I called him Justish. Look at that! That is simultaneously like the most anime edgelord thing ever and also looks like a madness combat character. Looks like Hank after his 20th go round. Alright, let's actually figure out what we're dealing with here. No damage from Bleed, Burn or Fairy. At the start of the battle, gain 10 marks of sin. On hit, transfer a, mark, a stack of mark of sin to the target. All dice gain power equal to the amount of marks of sin the target has. The target, not him. Starting with one scene, all characters gain one mark of sin at the start of each scene. If a character has five or more marks of sin at the start of the scene, uses judgment on them. If three or more characters have plus three marks of sin, use ceaseless judgment. After using judgment or ceaseless judgment, lose 25% of max stagger resist. After taking an attack, use the combat page piercing shriek next scene. A mark of sin can be transferred to another character, excluding Roland, by attacking and damaging them. Note, another character 
which means we can give these to the birds. I'm almost certain that means we can give them to the birds. Which means as long as we outclass them, as long as we win our clashes, we should be okay. So all of Roland's attacks will gain one strength at the moment. Gain one power. Was it strength or power? Let me clarify. Gain power, yeah. All his die gain one power. Okay. So we just got to hit him with our best shit. We have to be careful though, every failed attack is costly. Now if we take a defensive die failure, that's not so bad, but he's doing mostly attacks. You might be able to deal with unjust scale. It's worth pointing out that Lamarcus is gaining three strength and endurance at the moment. Alongside their usual power benefits to Slash. Slash dice power plus two. Plus two. And then Snake Slick can add a further plus two. And Roland is gaining one. Risky, but use Serpent Sword technique on them. Use Snake Slit on them. Because you're also gaining defensive bonuses. Sturdy defense. But I don't fancy your chances against Justice Astray. I do fancy your chances, though. You'll probably fail against a defensive die. It says hit, doesn't it? On hit, not on deflect. Which means Somber Procreation would actually be fine for that, but you can't intercept it. I just realized the issue, yeah. Yeah, it's a difficult turn. We'll see what happens. Good. Good. She lost all of her, um, sin. That's not great. That's not good. That is good. That's not good. He does have fairy now. Thank God for that. People are getting rid of their sin. Oh no, multiple characters have three. Ah, bollocks. Tigers with plus three marks of sin are killed instantly. Unfortunately, Providence is going down. There's nothing we can do for him. The only good news is that bird is dead too. And that bird is dead. That one's still alive. And you are only other... So we're going to lose Providence to get through this, but... And that might just be the... I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. I can sit here and... Wax lyrical about it, but mass attacks go first. All right, well, it is what it is. Okay. No one got hit by it, but um, Providence is gone. Why did everyone die? Not why did everyone die? Why did everyone take massive damage? At least he's healing people. That's actually the best outcome, because that just got us a bunch of healing. To keep the power of Longbird weighed the sins for Longbird scale was fair and just and could weigh- Oh, bollocks. In the middle of all the chaos, I cry, someone shout, it's the beast, a big scary monster lives in the black dusky forest. Oh, God. Nothing will dare harm you. Unaffected by power-related effects. I see. 
Use a three out of eight of possible patterns over three scenes. Every two scenes, switch the active egg for the apocalypse for apocalypse bird. The apocalypse bird's eggs cycle in the following order: big eyes, small beak, long arms. Repeat. Roland's resistance is changed depending on the currently active egg effect. If staggered while the apocalypse bird's egg effect is active, the character will lose HP, and the currently active egg effect will be permanently expired. At the start of the next scene, recover from stagger purge all status elements and gain two strength and endurance. HP does not go below 75%. Big Bird's recollection. Use the designated combat pages. This pattern will not be used once Big Eye's effect expires. Mass You're starting with a mass summation. This is a bit absurd. Okay. With the most heavy guilt. What's guilt? We don't have guilt. Okay. Target's a horrified next scene, but these are mass summations. Target loses one light. Piss off. Kidding me. This is going to take a very long time to set up. And uh, Lamarcus is going to get hit by the last attack there, guaranteed. And considering that Lamarcus isn't benefiting from um, energy or power gain this turn, that's not good. Yeah, that's an 8-8. That's an 8-14. That should be enough. You're not gaining anything, are you? No, okay. That will be enough to deal with uh, light illuminating the forest. You're immune to the damage, but not to the stagger. Okay, so you're weak to slash. Now that's brilliant eyes. Which you actually can't do anything about. Okay. You don't have any zero costs. Just take that AA. It's not even a big deal. I realize it's not. That's more important to contest. You've got the best chance to deal with that. Actually, yeah, that would work out because you'd stop it from even being a thing. You can't intercept it. Oh. This bastard game and its bastard way of doing things. You're in trouble. You're in big trouble. Unfortunately, we did not come out of the last scene particularly well. That needs to be contested. This is... Mm, this is tough. This is very tough. Try will the prescript on that and then throw out a... Uh, wedging Thorn. I don't think we're going to win this, but I am going to try. I pretty much let Surveillance go. You failed. Everyone failed except Bina. You two succeeded. Oh, Violet Blade failed. Oh, that we really didn't... Oh, Shoving Slash... F oh, Shoving Stab failed too. Really didn't need that to happen. Well, of course, Borkus is doing his fucking best. And, uh, Lamarcus has been staggered. Please start- oh, I hate you. Lamarcus might be gone. That's not enough to kill. Even on a max roll, Degraded Fairy is not enough to contend. Peace for all. We are gaining our power bonuses again, but... Ah, uh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh no! We've still got B Apocalypse Bird. All resistance has changed to fatal at the start of the scene! Okay. Fuck. The thing is, you, if you spend light contending that, you've got fuck all for anything else. And he's not exactly going easy on us. If it's defeated by this, replay on another target. Fuck you. That's why we can't let it happen to Lamarcus, I suppose. Talon. You have to use the Graded Fairy and try and survive the scene. If only that person who, you know, uh, lowered damage. If only they were still here. If only, you know, the person who does protection stuff. If only they were still here. Uh, I don't see a way out of this, unfortunately. I just don't. Just 
try and keep him away from Lamarcus, I guess. Oh, they failed anyway, so... Yeah, Bean has been staggered, even. Yeah, that was a hit. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that Fairy is still doing damage, which is pretty funny, actually. Unfortunately, they're about to run out of Fairy, and then there's really just not much stopping them. Another mass attack? Yeah, of course. Brilliant eyes. You're the only one left, and you've only got one light. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a loss. This is a straight up loss. I've got nothing. I have absolutely nothing right now. Managed to beat that. Didn't beat that. The last one will probably kill you. Yeah. And now he's just going to go on a rampage. Just like everyone's first time fighting Apocalypse Bird in Lobcorp, it's a fucking loss. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, and your, the cost of your cards has gone up. The cost of two random pages in the Librarian's hand rise by one. See, if we just managed to last till now, we probably would have been okay. But we didn't. Honestly, the f we came out of the, um... We came out of the last scene, like the last act, so badly. We just didn't stand a chance. We didn't have enough power, and then we were just on the back foot for the rest of the fight. It was like when we fought the Hana Association. We hit them hard immediately, and they could never recover. Well, the same is now happening to us. We didn't have the cards, or the light, more to the point. We didn't have the lights to contend the first round, and, um... Yeah, that did us in. But it shows, perhaps, that maybe decks that rely on, you know, power buffs and such aren't really suitable for this. So he's got a lot of stuff that just ignore power bonuses, Tilted Scale being a great example. I think it's funny the male star's the last one because he was not he was the support, not the damage dealer. You managed to get some health back. It's not saved you though. There it is. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That's quite tricky. That is quite tricky. That's quite tricky indeed. I'm going to have to rebuild for that, and I'm going to have to think about how I approach the fights. But fortunately, I don't think the um, realization itself is especially long, because, I mean, you are only going through th three phases before the grand finale, unless there is something after uh, the Apocalypse Bird. There are two locks here, which implies to me that there is, but fuck, what comes after that? I don't know, but I'm out of time for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to bang my head against this wall today. Instead, I'm going to take some time to try and prepare, come back, and see if we can finish Bina in one. And then maybe move on to Hockmer afterwards. But yeah, this is going to be probably where the video progress in videos is going to start slowing down as we come across real challenges and have to try and face them accordingly. I got far, I got relatively far, but we didn't stand a chance against Apocalypse Bird in the state we were in. No fucking way. Losing Providence did not help. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that in the future. But ladies and gentlemen, that's then. This is now. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Honey Doo, Sweet Baby Red, MB Alias, Ye Old Man River, Lord Scullington, Jessica Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Sir World, Jumping with Joy, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and KT800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Hey, I was having a pretty good streak of one showing everything I came up against, or first trying, I guess is actually the term. It wasn't gonna last forever. It was, and like, you know, the nature of the pure 
overwhelming power and bullshittery of the uh, of the birds in these games meant that there was no way I was going to first try this one. I'm not even upset that I got to what I assume was the end and failed because we learned a lot and we did well. We didn't even do that badly. I ain't worried. I just need to build better decks for this floor. I'm thinking maybe something that leans away from power bonuses and instead thrives in other ways, but... For instance, the slash bonus um, purple tier deck is not suitable because Lamarcus will just get crushed by the uh, final phase because all of his cards are low power. They're like low base values with high power bonuses. So I'm going to need to look into it differently. But whatever happens next time, ladies and gentlemen, and I plan to defeat Bina's realization by at least by the end of next episode. That is my plan. But whatever happens, I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye. Goodbye.